Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the solution for the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. And from this, we can find capital P, capital Q and capital R. To get the solution, we have to solve dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. Now, substituting PQR, we get dx by x minus 2z equal to dy by 2z minus y equal to dz by y minus x. Now, we have to use the appropriate Lagrange's multiplier to find the solution. As a first part, we are going to use Lagrange's multiplier. So here, I am going to use 1, 1 and 1. It means the same term will come as it is. x minus 2z equal to dy by 2z minus y equal to d dy by 2z minus y by dz by y minus x. When I use a multiplier 1, 1, 1, it means I have to multiply both numerator and denominator with this multiplier. Since it is 1, the original term will be coming as it is. Now using the ratio property, I am going to add all the numerators. So dx plus dy plus dz will come in the numerator. When I add the denominator, it is x minus 2z plus 2z minus y plus y minus x. So by doing so, we find x minus x, 2z minus 2z, y minus y gets cancelled and the entire denominator becomes 0. And now I am going to equate these two terms alone and going to simplify further. That is dz by y minus x will be this entire term dx plus dy plus dz whole division 0. Now this entire term is multiplied with 0 when we do cross multiplication and finally we left with dx plus dy plus dz equal to 0 and on integration we get x plus y plus z equal to 0 and there will be integration constant c1. Let's take this as a. In the same way, we have to use another set of multiplier. So, let's copy the term first. dx by x minus 2z. dx by x minus 2z equal to dy by first term is x minus 2z, second term is 2z minus y. So, 2z minus y. Last term is dz by y minus x. Now, let's use the multiplier, use Lagrange's multiplier to make the terms getting cancelled. It is better to use y, x and 1. It means I have to multiply y with both numerator and denominator and x with both numerator and denominator and here it is with 1. Now using these two terms, I am using the ratio property, adding the numerators y dx plus x dy whole division. So here let us multiply this y inside. So yx minus 2yz, here multiply x inside plus x plus 2xz minus xy. And the last term we take as it is dz by y minus x. So here we can cancel xy minus xy and 
from the remaining it is y dx plus x dy whole division we can take minus 2z common so minus 2z is common this is y and here minus x will be remaining and the other side it is dz by y minus x and both the sides it is possible to cancel y minus x and by cross multiplication it is y dx plus x dy equal to minus 2z dz and now we are going to integrate this on both the sides and this can be rewritten as differentiation of xy when we differentiate xy using product rule it is y into dx plus x into dy and this is minus 2 constant integral z dz then by integrating this this d gets removed so it is only xy and here it is minus 2 z square by 2 we can cancel this and there will be integration constant c2 now taking minus z square to the other side it is xy plus z square equal to c2 which we shall name it as b now finally we are going to write the general solution which is in the form of f of a comma b equal to 0 and now it is f of our a is x plus y plus z so x plus y plus z comma and b is xy plus z square equal to 0. Thus we got the solution for the given partial differential equation using the Lagrange's multiplier method.